We're back today with another Munch Pack Snack Treat Chocolate Candy Sweets, or I said that, review. <laughs> so these, this is actually sent to us from the great people over at Munch Pack to review on YouTube. And these are always a lot of fun. You have snacks from all over the world. And if you want to get your very own box, I have a promo code for you to use. I'll leave a direct link down below to munchpack.com. Use promo code franchise kicks, all one word, for three dollars off of your first box. So if you want to have your very own munch pack with treats from every corner Everywhere. of the earth, use code franchise kicks. Save three bucks on your first box. Lots of fun. It is lots of fun. Yeah. So you ready to go ahead and jump in and do this? Yeah, I hope it's full of chocolate. Chips, chips, chips. So here we have a little cheat sheet that tells us everything that's in the box. Or it'll tell you like where it's from and all those, all that goody. Ooh, Ooh. wrap snacks. Oh, nacho cheese peanuts. What? Mmm. So no competition. We're just going through. We're just going to taste test the fun treats and snacks from around the world. And this, I think this is like, what, 10, right? 10 I think so. plus a drink and a drink this time is crushed cream soda soda mousse or no I think it's like soda mousse cream soda uh -huh. soda mousse you got something on the side of your hand babe yeah oh we just did a video where we're doing scratch offs <laughs> and that's the you know that nasty black stuff you uh -huh. get from the scratch offs fixed it not really but <laughs> Well, that's, you know, I mean, yeah, back-to-back -back videos. <laughs> so I'll let her her go first, whatever she wants to choose. Just not any chip or the peanut. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go to the bottom. I don't oh, okay. know what I grabbed. Ooh. Okay, so this is Tesoro Vanilla Cream. Ooh. This cream-filled pastry puffs, and there are eight in this box. This is from Italy. Madiglia Vanzilla brings all the flavor of an Italian bakery right to you. This crunchy, perfectly glazed pastry is filled with sweet bakery quality vanilla cream so you can bring Italy home. Sounds fabulous. It does sound fabulous. It's fabulous. Since we can't travel these days, we will travel our taste buds. Fancy packaging. We got that gold package. Only one of very like what tens, like a gold package. We got. Is one. that like the golden ticket from Willy Wonka? Even better. Even better. So I this got is a golden what ticket. this is what we're looking at right here. It looks fabulous. It's an eight pack. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, it does smell good. Oh, I like that. It's got like a crunchy top. And a soft bottom, but then it has like a nice um, creamy, creamy filling. Middle. It's not like a heavy creamy filling. It's just really nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh huh. That's gonna be hard to beat. Mm -hmm. and that's really the top has a nice crunch, and the bottom just melts. I be like awesome that. with coffee. I like that. I like that one too. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna crack this drink. This crush cream soda. This Canadian imported soda by Crush is an ultra sweet, ultra pink cream soda that tastes like a dream and has an intense magenta color. Magenta. It, it's sweet. Is it sweet? What's it taste like? Cream soda. Oh, the fuzzies went up my nose. Fuzzies. Hmm. Oh all right, God. don't be eating all those. We got a whole lot of snacks here. <laughs> Those are good. The drink is good. It is sweet, though. Okay, your turn to pick. I'm the official reader person. I do a real good job with that. Oh. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Let's see, big round little, what's that? Ooh, those are good, some churros. Ooh, that's gonna be good too. There we go, chips. We have Wrap Snacks Icon Notorious B.I.G. Cookout Barbecue Sauce. Okay, so these are from the United States. This crisp and crunchy chip 
or chips are filled with the B.I.G. mix of sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning that will transport you to a backyard summer cookout. Tastes like a barbecue chip. Huh. Yep. Nothing tastes like more. a barbecue chip. Just a barbecue chip. Let the wife go. Okay. Wherever you want, baby. Except for those nuts. We're going to go with this. Whatever this is. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be real good. And these are Cheerios. White cocoa filled Cheerios. Sweet and crisp Cheerios filled with smooth and creamy white chocolate and then cut into bite sized pieces for the perfect snacking size in combination from the Philippines. Okay. Sound fabulous. My mom lived in the Philippines for a while. They're a bite size. Smell kind of weird. My Cheerios kind of empty. Um, you know what they remind me of? You know those um, strawberry and chocolate and vanilla like flat cookies? They're like the wafer cookies with the, the no. cream in the middle of them. They remind me of the white ones. I don't know what those taste like. You've never had those? I have. I don't know what they taste like though. Oh, well that's what I these don't buy them but like once every 10 years. Yeah, they're okay. They're, they're just okay. I thought I had higher expectations. None special. Okay. We got a, we have like a few sweet and sour things. We'll save those for later. We don't mess or pal. Ooh, a French crepe. 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 Chocolate filled biscuits. We just did chocolate though. We'll, we'll, yeah, we're going to do these. Okay. Ziggy marinated nacho cheese peanuts. These marinated peanuts are flavored with smooth and savory nacho cheese and this protein rich snack keeps your belly full and high energy Ooh. and this is from bulgaria taste a lot of nacho cheese. Not much. A little bit. But it's more peanut that you yeah. taste. Taste peanut. Yeah, I don't even taste I mean, much cheese. It kind of pretty much tastes like a peanut. We're going to go with this one. Hanada. That's going to be a good one. Hanada wafer. Smooth and rich tasting hazelnut filling is sandwiched between some seriously delicious vanilla wafers. This makes for a perfectly sweet snack from Germany. Oh look, one for you oh. and one for me. You want to share yours with me? Mm, that's a negative. Oh, okay. Well, this actually does look like that wafer that you, that you just talked Described, about. Yeah. That's actually what it looks like. Only this has a lot more filling. Mine's making a mess. Very chocolatey. Has a nice crunch to it though. It's very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. It's good though. Not my favorite. It's good, but yeah, not my favorite. Like I love chocolate, but this is kind of, um, it's not like a real smooth, rich, creamy chocolate. No. It's more of like a, Artificially chocolate? Oh. It's good. Doesn't wow me. My favorite part is, is the actual crunch mm -hmm. of the wafer. Because most wafers we have are very soft. Mm -hmm. Not much crunch to them. And then the, and they like melt the minute they touch your mouth. Those actually has a little bit of resistance crunch to them, which kind of helps with the overall experience of what you're eating. I mean, it's good. It's good. So far, those the first the vanilla cream, these were my favorite. Those were some bangers. Yes. Let's go ahead. Let's mess up our palate just a little bit. Thinny roll candy. 
Feeny Roller Tutti Fruity with great fruit flavors like apple, strawberry, raspberry, and lemon. This extra sour, extra sour, rainbow colored gummy belt is ready to be unrolled and enjoyed from Spain. Ready for this? I'm ready. I just cleared the chocolate. Ooh, doggy. Look at that sugar. Oh boy. Sugar. Um. Ugh. There we go. You get it going in it. Ugh. A lot of sugar on there. Not very sour. Mm -mm. I said extreme sour. I don't think any sour in it. Mm -mm. I don't either. It's more just sugar. It's like sugar. a major sugar bomb. I kind of like it though. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar. I wish though it had more sour to it though. Because I like sour stuff. Sugar and, and fruity. Yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. But I was hoping for some sour. I thought it. Okay, Maybe next well, time. we'll stick on that theme then. Sour? Sour. These are called Live Wires. Ooh. Live Wires Sour Blue Raspberry Tongue Painters. I thought going to be blue. <laughs> These super soft and super sour blue raspberry licorice pieces are filled with a sweet and yummy cream to balance the tart flavor and will leave your tongue painted blue from Canada. Oh boy. Blue tongue. Here blue we come. tongue. Lots of sugar. Is your sour? No, it's like a minute your tongue. It's not sour. No, not at all. Mm, it's slightly blue. Slightly. <coughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Happens sometimes. <coughs> <coughs> eh. I it want, wasn't sour. I I, I kind of want, want I want something sour. I mean, like sour. We're like, ooh, that's sour. Mm, I'm not that wild by that. Half of or you know the bite that I yeah. took was enough for me. So the Canada sour is not sour. The other sour. Yeah, where was this from? That was Canada. Oh, this was Canada. The other one. I don't remember. I don't want to see it on there now. Uh, it's this one, Tutti Fruity. Spain. Spain. But like sour, like we're used to kind of, kind of the uh, warheads. Like those are sour for about five seconds and then it's gone. But for, it gets those, for a little bit there, those it's like saliva glands going. This is just like sugar. Lots of sugar. It's just sugar. Okay. <laughs> Chocolate biscuits. Chocolate of the biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. There's like sugar everywhere right now. Yes, there is. Like the, like the, the uh, table's gritty with sugar. And I just vacuumed in here too. Okay, crunchy biscuits for the ultimate pick-me-up. These adorable Coco Mo's. Coco Mo's? Oh, yeah. Uh, biscuits from Biscani are filled with chocolate cream for a sweet fix. Pakistan. Pakistan. Urgh. Smell and Ooh. taste. It doesn't smell good. No, I didn't smell anything. It smells like chemical, kind of. Oh, I smelled it. It's a crunchy little biscuit with little to no flavor. It's mostly biscuit. Uh huh. You know what it tastes like? Like the biscuit? Those little fish you should put in, into your soup and chili. <laughs> Like the goldfish? Oh, the, the oyster fishies. cracker. Oyster. Uh huh. This is but exactly in the shape of the an fish. oyster cracker with just a little bit of chocolate in, in the middle of it. That's what it is. It's it's oyster cracker thing. I ain't here eh. for it. Not too impressed with that one either. It's not bad, but it doesn't really have any kind of wow. Kay. No zing. We're going with the crepe. The French crepe. So like we 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 started with the best. It's been downhill since the, the first. Sorry. What's that look like? French. Like that. I'm gonna mm. assume this is from France since it's the French crepe. The jar. Yes. 
Jacquet Chocolate Crepey. The snack is the ultimate in crepey portability and is just as tasty right out of the wrapper as it is heated in the microwave. Top it with whipped cream for added sweetness from France for the crepe. Not the crepe. Say crepe. Say I love crepes. I love crepes. I love crepes. It's from a movie. I figured. Probably like Borat Ricky or something. Bobby. Oh. Ricky Bobby, you like, say, I love crepes. I love crepes. Okay, the guy who played Borat plays the driver who says, I love crepes. See? Same guy, uh, the Sacha Baron Cohen, same guy. Um. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Ugh, no. I didn't care for it. It tastes good. The chocolate tastes very That's artificial. That's bad. Yeah, I don't care for that one. Ooh, yeah. and it leaves a wangy taste in your mouth. That's not good. I don't like not, that one. No, that one's kind of it's kind of gross. Last one. Zozolo mixer. Mm. Sorry, I was sucking on a piece of ice to clear that. That's flavor. bad. It had really, that's nasty. Okay. It didn't taste good. This is, this delightful hard candy is coated with a lightly sweet prickly pear flavor and has a surprisingly fizzy lemon center. <laughs> Talk about a great mix. And it's from Poland. So it's hard candy. Hard candy with a sweet prickly pear flavor and a fizzy lemon center. Okay, just crunch onto it. Just crunch. Sure. Yep. Has some liquid in it. There's lemon. Crunch it. I put the center right on the tip of my tongue and you could feel it kind of a little zinger. There's some liquid in mm -hmm. the middle of it. You mm -hmm. bite into it, it kind of like squirts out. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, not the best. I mean, it, 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 it didn't taste bad. It just was kind of, eh, it's okay. It's like one of those things if you have, eh. you have it in your car and you just need something a little sweet. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be, perfect, be perfect for it. Mm -hmm. So with this Munch Pack, the consensus winner by leaps and bounds. Landslide. It was actually really good. Like that was really good. I, I enjoyed eating that. We and actually I, might have to find these and order like, these. Like these were actually really good. I did, did not expect these to they're like taste that. Yeah. Awesome. Those were really good. Really good. That was my favorite. Second best thing was probably the chips. <laughs> Just because you can't be a, you know, a chip. I mean, these were okay. Oh, okay. Chips, number two. Worst thing was that credit. Yeah, I didn't Come care in. for that. I think it was bad. Like, it was it was gross. It didn't taste good. We left a wangy twist. It tastes taste. like bad chocolate. Eh. Eh? Eh. Eh. So this is a munch pack. It was interesting. We tried snacks and treats that we've never heard of. Some we liked, some we didn't like. Some were just like, Okay, so is this kind of fun to kind of venture out and try stuff you've never heard of? And sometimes you find something like this where actually we might have to go out and actually try to find some of these now because that was actually really good. But this is the good. fun part about it. Like get your family all around the table and try this yeah. stuff out and see like, what other people's opinions are. Like kids would have loved this. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. It's so much sugar. Like kids would be like, that's awesome. But like how much fun would this to be to like sit around Thanksgiving or New Year's or whatever and... And, oh gosh, I can't wait for New Year's. We need a new year. <laughs> 2020 new year. has been rough. New year. But, um, yeah, how much fun is it just to sit around the table and, and spend time with family and do this kind of stuff? Yep. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, drop the link down below to munchpack.com. Use promo code FRANCHISEKICKS to save three bucks off of your very own Munch Pack to have some fun with your own family. So, see you next time. Thank you to Munch Pack. And we're out.